All right, let's get right into it. If you put a picture of the American F-35 next to the Chinese J-35, you'd be forgiven for thinking they're twins. I mean, the resemblance is uncanny, but what we're about to unpack is how, with these fifth-generation jets, what you see on the outside is just scratching the surface of the real story. And yeah, this slide really drives that point home. On paper, the airframes just rhyme. You've got the internal bays to hide weapons, that classic stealth shaping to duck radar, and even a similar looking sensor right under the nose. If you only looked at the hardware, you'd think, okay, these are direct competitors, one for one. So that's the big question, right? Are they actually equals? Is building a jet that looks the part the same as matching one of the most complex weapon systems ever created? Well, the answer, it's not so simple. To really get to the bottom of this, we have to look past the metal, beyond the physical jet itself. The real difference, the actual gap we're talking about, isn't something you can just see in a photo. It has less to do with aerodynamics and a whole lot more to do with something invisible. This quote from our source material absolutely nails it. It's the key to this whole conversation. The gap to close is less about wing loading and more about firmware and the human machine that iterates it. It's not just about the code itself, but the entire human system, the people, that write it, test it, and improve it over and over again. Okay, so let's start there, with the software. This is what our source calls the informatic advantage. Think of it as the jet's brain and its central nervous system. And honestly, this is where the F-35's most significant lead really is. So how do you build an advantage like that? Experience. We're talking over 2 million flight hours logged by the F-35 fleet. Think about that. That's millions of hours of real-world data, pilot feedback, and discovering all the little bugs and quirks that you'd never find in a simulator. You just can't fake that kind of learning curve. And all of that experience, all that data, it allows them to do something that is truly revolutionary. It's a concept called sensor fusion. Now, this isn't just about the F-35's own cameras and radar. It's about pulling in data from everywhere, from other friendly jets, from ships at sea, from stations on the ground, and blending it all together into one single, easy to understand picture for the pilot. It's almost like having a God's eye view of the battlefield. And getting to that point is a messy, brutal process. This isn't something you cook up in a clean lab. It's earned through years of flying in joint exercises with allies, which provides what the source calls brutal feedback. That tough feedback then drives over a decade of nonstop software updates, which then get pushed out to the entire global fleet. It's this living, breathing cycle of constant improvement. And this is a really key point, right? It's so much more than just lines of code. We're talking about the entire digital ecosystem. You've got the training programs for pilots, the tactics that are constantly evolving based on experience, the massive libraries of known enemy threats, and the secure data links that connect everything. China can absolutely write code, no doubt, but building this entire infrastructure from the ground up that is a whole different ballgame. Now this all ties into the second huge piece of the puzzle, the sustainment challenge. This is the unglamorous part. It's the gritty, difficult reality of keeping these unbelievably complex machines not just flying, but actually stealthy. You know, for a stealth jet, the goal is pretty simple, at least on paper. It's gotta be perfect. We're talking every single panel aligned flawlessly. Every square inch of that special radar absorbing skin has to be pristine. Any little mistake, any tiny gap, and that jet could light up on an enemy's radar like a Christmas tree. But the real world? It's not some sterile, climate-controlled hangar. The reality is a tired maintenance crew trying to keep that perfection on a wet, rainy flight deck at 2 o'clock in the morning. The F-35 program has spent years and made a lot of painful mistakes, learning the hard-won lessons of how to actually do this, at scale, all over the world. That kind of know-how is priceless. So, when you put the software gap and the sustainment gap together, you start to see the real picture emerge. The true difference isn't about the metal or the circuits. It's what our source calls the human machine. So here's what it all boils down to. A fifth-generation fighter is not just a jet. It's the entire ecosystem that surrounds it. It's those millions of flight hours. It's the global logistics network. It's the software that's been beaten on and improved for a decade. It's the tactics that were developed from real-world feedback. And crucially, it's the experienced pilots and crews that make it all sing. And that leaves us with this final and I think most important question. You can design and build a very impressive looking airframe in a few years, but can you build that entire human and digital ecosystem, the training, the logistics, the software maturity, just as fast? That right there 
is the real race.